bring into the conversation Senate Majority Whip Dick Durbin of Illinois. He's chairman of the Judiciary Committee. Uh, Mr. Chairman, it's good to see you today. I want to talk about your important legislation about keeping kids safe online in just a moment. But you were among the senators who received that classified briefing a couple of days ago about these unidentified flying objects. It was interesting to see senators almost to a man and woman, bipartisan, coming out of that briefing, satisfied with what they heard. What did you take away from that briefing? Uh, I, I felt the administration is taking this seriously. As you mentioned, uh, as Americans, we want answers. Uh, and uh, I think they're in the process of investigating the objects that were shot down. One of them was shot down in a, a part of northern Canada that is 50 below zero. So it will take some time to gather all the materials and draw conclusions. But we are taking them seriously. I'm sure the president and the administration will be addressing this issue today. Another topic for you, Senator, the um, tragic, awful shooting at Michigan State University a couple of nights ago in East Lansing renewed the conversation about what to do about gun violence in this country. We had students at Michigan State who survived the Oxford High School shooting last year, graduated, went to Michigan State, survived another shooting. There was actually a Newtown Sandy Hook uh, kid who was inside that school 10 years ago, and now a student at Michigan State surviving another. Um, what can we do? in this moment? Is there any momentum? Is there any energy on Capitol Hill about pushing forward with gun safety? It's basic, Willie. It really is basic. The American people have to ask themselves the question, are you had enough? Uh, do you want to stand up and make America safe again? Are we going to accept mass shootings as just part of the American culture? We've had over 67 so far this year more uh, shootings than days in the year. Uh, I still remember that sad, gruesome, awful situation in Highland Park, uh, which occurred last 4th of July. I've been back there to meet with the victims. Seven people killed. This fellow fired off 83 rounds in 60 seconds. Don't tell me the Founding Fathers had that in mind when they wrote the Second Amendment. Uh, we've got to get serious. America, unfortunately, is seeing this over and over and over again. When we're fed up enough, we may finally do something. Senator Durbin, good morning. Jonathan Lemire, you, of course, the chair of the Senate Judiciary Committee. It's been a big week uh, for you folks. This was the confirmation of the 100th federal judge since President Biden uh, took office. We know that former President Trump talks about federal judges, an important part of his legacy. Seems like this president and your committee building a similar reputation. Tell us a little bit about why this is so important and why the diversity of this group means so much. We believe that diversity is important when it comes to the administration of justice. Black, white, and brown men and women from all walks of life in America should be able to walk into a courtroom or into a law enforcement agency and feel that there are people like them who are considering their, their plight. Uh, and I think it really brings credibility to our judiciary if it is a diverse group. We have had more women of color appointed to the second highest federal bench uh, across the land in the last two years than we had in the entire history of the United States. And of course, Ketanji Brown Jackson, who uh, has been an incredible member of the Supreme Court in her first days of service uh, and has made history herself. I think diversity is important. Some of those on the other side don't. Uh, I disagree. Senator, I want to talk about the Clean Slate for Kids Online Act legislation you have sponsored with Senators Blumenthal and Hirono. On the state level, we should point out in Ohio, for example, uh, they're proposing new legislation that will require parental consent for kids under 16 to get accounts on apps like TikTok and Snapchat. The plan would apply broadly to any online website, service, product, or feature that requires consumer consent to register, sign up, or to create a unique username. Ohio's bill comes as the state of Connecticut has introduced similar legislation. So, Senator Durman, let's talk about your legislation that you're proposing on a national level. We've had, we've had Internet security people on this show, people who've worked at the highest levels of the government who've said, I would not let my kids even put TikTok on their phone because it's a data mining operation for the Chinese government. It's a Chinese government pushing narratives to children. What is your legislation proposed to do? Well, you know the Senate Judiciary Committee, which I chair, is no book club. There are real differences of opinion on politics and some pretty articulate spokesmen on both sides. But I will tell you the hearing we had this week was one of the few I can ever remember where both Democrats and Republicans seemed united in their effort to protect children. Our kids are being abused, exploited, 
and, and many of them are losing their lives because of the irresponsibility of these social media groups. We have said to them, you know, understand what you're doing to kids and change your ways, and we're not getting any results. I think it's time for us to consider the issue of liability. To see those mothers who were in our hearing room with uh, color photographs of their children who committed suicide after they were exploited by these social media hounds uh, is just un intolerable and unacceptable. I believe that there should be clear liability, civil liability for uh, the entities that are putting these things online. And I'll tell you, the bill, that specific one you mentioned, said uh, kids ought to be able to erase whatever record they have on the Internet uh, prior to age 13. I would go even further than that if I could. Uh, these kids deserve a fighting chance uh, to make the lives of their own and not be exploited by the Internet. And we should point out this is an issue that President Biden actually raised in his State of the Union address. So there is, as you say, a lot of energy around it. And that state law in Ohio we mentioned, it would require parental consent for anyone under 16 to sign up for these apps. I understand you take it a step further, dropping that to age 13. Well, 13 is the record that kids unknowingly are creating uh, with their eyeballs on those screens day after day. And the companies are gathering every morsel of information that they might be able to exploit for commercial purposes and to make a profit. That should come to an end. Kids not, should not have them trail, uh, have those uh, facts trail them the rest of their lives. That is just one step. But I really believe the issue of liability, which is the subject matter of the Judiciary Committee, uh, is, is one that really ought to be clear. The 230 exemption is not good enough. In fact, it's terrible. We need to change it. This is a really serious issue, I can tell you, as a parent of two teenagers myself. Thank you for staying on it. We'll check back in with you. Chairman of the Judiciary Committee, Senator Dick Durbin of Illinois. Senator, thanks so much. Mika? Thank